What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about dyeing my hair and let's just jump right into it. So I have some hair color in front of me. I picked up some Ion and some Matrix color from the beauty supply store. I have the colors 4G, 4N, and 6RB. That's a neutral brown, a um, golden brown, and a burgundy looking color, which you need if your hair is ashy blonde because otherwise the color will not take. I have a 10 volume developer and I also have some protein filler which is something that you put before your hair color for the color to absorb a bit more. Um, when you dye your hair blonde you're basically stripping all the protein out of your hair so you need to make sure you add that back in. I'm also going to be dyeing my extensions because I'm going to get a weave girl so <laughs> I'm just dyeing my extensions with some dark and lovely hair color. Um, I got this hair from a certain brand that I'll tell you about later and I'm going to test it out for you guys and let you know how it is. Um, I'm also going to be using some silicone mix. I picked this up from the beauty supply store. This stuff is bomb if you're dying extensions. It just kind of seals them back to being perfect again. Um, and then of course you're going to need a coloring bowl and some Olaplex. The Olaplex is for my own hair. I'm not going to use it on my extensions but it's so helpful when you're doing any process just to keep the help of your hair. So in this video clip, I'm showing you guys what my hair looks like prior to dyeing. I got my hair to such a nice ashy blonde color and you know, even though I was really happy with the color that I had gotten myself to, the health of my hair was really suffering, so it was time. I always begin my hair process by sectioning my hair off into four sections. This really helps you not to get overwhelmed with the entire process. Um, so sectioning her off into four sections and I'm going to jump back into what I said at the beginning of the video for one second because I really want to stress the importance if you're going from blonde to black hair you need to add a red into your hair dye for the color to take okay moving on now I'm adding some protein filler into my hair so that was that clear solution in the little bottle I'm putting it all over each section and this is going to again help the color to absorb into my hair so I'm doing everything I can to make sure the color sticks because the worst thing is if you wash your hair after dyeing it and you have like a patchy mess kind of green looking situation. Because your hair will turn green if you don't use the red and if you don't use a protein filler. So now I'm simply adding Olaplex, protein filler and my hair dye in a mixing bowl. I'm going to add this on my hair section by section. Brush it through and let it sit for about an hour. I'll keep you guys in the loop and show you my final results. I was so sick of the blonde. I'm happy to have this brown color back in my hair. 
and tomorrow I'm going to get extensions put in. So I'm gonna be Weevilicious. Mm. <laughs> Three weeks later. Hey friends, so I'm back to show you the final results of what my hair looks like after dyeing it. Um, it's actually been a few weeks, some time went by, <laughs> and I went on vacation, I did a whole bunch of things. I was running around Europe for a couple weeks and my weave was running wild with me. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. <laughs> I had a great time, I had a lot of fun, and this is what my hair looks like now. Um, I know when I originally did it, it looked a lot darker. I was under the impression that it would get lighter. I knew it would get lighter. Um, and my natural hair has been getting like lighter really rapidly because I've been in the sun a lot. I've been trying to soak it all up. Um, so you can see that it's really kind of like a nice chocolate brown. And I love this color. Um, as I showed in the video, I did dye my extensions and they're actually not as light as my natural hair because the sun has really been lightening it. When I did my hair, I knew that I wanted it to get lighter. So please keep in mind that if you want your hair to be like a rich, really deep brown, you may want to go a bit darker with your dyes. I wanted my hair to be more of a chocolate brown, so I'm happy with what I got. These are my results. I'm going to show you guys exactly what my hair looks like. And again, keep in mind I'm wearing a weave, so like half of this is in my hair, but you get the picture. <laughs> to finish off this video by telling you about a really awesome contest that you have the opportunity to win. Because I love contacts from TTDI so much, they've actually partnered with me to bring you guys a really awesome deal. You can win a free pair of contacts, okay? So in promotion with their summer sale, they are having 50% off of all of their contacts. But that's not just it. You can win a free pair of contacts by following a few simple steps. So I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how you can win, and it's really easy, I promise. So, to win the contest, all you have to do is two simple steps. Number one, follow me and follow TTDI. I'm gonna leave my Instagram below, and it's Makeup Mallory, and TTDI's as well is gonna be on the screen, so you can't miss it. Just follow both of us, okay? That's step one. Step two is to go to the photo that I posted that has this on it. And you just need to like the picture and comment underneath it three friends that you also want to win this contest. Other than that, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more hair videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill. And I will see you in the next one.